Hello everyone, my name is Trist and welcome to today's tutorial on how to use a render in Photoshop slash how to make a render slash a bunch of other things. Basically this entire video is going to be how to just make a render and how to, you know, position it, export it, give it some nice details later on in Photoshop, all of the bunch. So this was actually recommended to me a couple months back by a user when I made my thumbnail video which if you haven't watched already, you should probably go watch it. This is kind of like a sequel-ish kind of thing to that video. So this is gonna be a full video, there's gonna be a full video tutorial on how to make a render, how to export it, and how to use it in Photoshop. So um, what you wanna start with is you wanna have a little Lightroom. If you guys don't know what a, well, you don't have to use a Lightroom, but if you guys are gonna go use a Lightroom, what it does is it basically as you can see here, you have these white walls right here. They look like walls, but they're actually light blocks things. They're, they're, they're reflecting light. So um, let me see. Let me show you an example. So if I render this view right here, I render my character, as you can see, there he is. Boom, bright. Now, if we move him closer to, let's say, this um, white wall over here, render it again, you're going to see a big difference. As you can see, he's a lot more brighter, and he has this weird thing on his head. I don't know what I don't know what this says, but as you can see, he's a lot more brighter than where he previously was. So um, I am going to be using my skin for this tutorial, but this can work on any skin. And by the way, before you do um, hop into Cinema 4D, you got to make sure you have a Minecraft rig. I use the FMR 5.0 by XI Frost 21. I personally like the rig. If you guys do download this one, um, here are some of the settings that I use. Uh, I have my eyes doubled, I have the eye height. Sometimes when you have your eyesight set to zero, it looks like this. So what you wanna make sure is that your eye height is set to negative one. If that happens, if not, if it's a thing where it's not even showing or it's too below, then just uh, keep adjusting the eye the eye height until you can find the proper positioning for your eyes. If you can't, I would recommend a watching a different video on how to solve that problem because I'm not going to be going over all of those issues in this video. I'm just going to be tackling on the uh, how to, you know, make proper a proper render and a great render. Make sure you have any second layers, by the way, ticked. Like, it, let's say you have like a, like my character right here has a hoodie, but let's say I don't have this box ticked. Oh no, where'd it go? So you got to make sure you want to tick it again so everything else can show. And that goes for all body parts here in, in case you do actually use this render. Make sure it's in the right format, if it's in a Steve or Alex format, and yep, yeah, you're good to go. So what you wanna do now is just pose the character as much as you please. So I'm gonna actually pose it right now. Um, it's quite simple, really. You just um, click on one of these squares and you can move uh, limbs accordingly. So right here, I can move the foot and I can bend it. And then I can move this hand right here. I can, I don't know what this one does cause this one doesn't really move. So uh, yeah, I can also move the actual arm so I can detach it entirely from the body, which is cool. But yeah, you can basically adjust it to whatever you like. I'm actually going to adjust it right now. So just give me one second. All right, so I kind of was trying to make a running kind of pose for this render right here. So I know I was going to do the face real quick, but I just wanted to show you guys how this face rig works. I'm going to go to the front of the face here. As you can see, it has positions for the mouth to open it in certain spots. So right here, I can, oh, that's the head. No, um, as you can see right here, I can open this part of the mouth with this circle. I can open this part of the mouth with this one right here i can actually extend it this side and it can go way off screen but we don't want that and you can also go over here and so on and so forth but there's already one little mouth expression control right here as you can see this is the mouth expression control so if i pull this up he will be smiling but if i pull it down he'll be really sad and oh no we don't want our character to be sad so let's make it let's give him a big old smiley face oh yeah in case you guys are wondering how to rotate objects you just select the part you want to rotate so let's say the head you go up here to the rotate filter you go up here to the top left where it says rotate this this little symbol right here and then you use the rotate um tools um for your liking we're gonna move on to the eyes now. So you can actually move each individual eye to move in any direction. You don't have to use this one right here, which controls both eyes. You can change the eyes to your liking. So I'm just gonna move this eye over here. You can actually see 
what your render is going to look like before you actually uh, render it to picture view. You can actually do render view right here, which is also control R on your keyboard. And you can actually see what your render is going to look like before it's exported to its full HD image. So right here, I I really like this. I actually think I did a really good job with this. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna render it now to picture view. This is going to actually export the render into an oh, it, its own, sorry, its own file and image so you can use in thumbnails. Before we do that though, you wanna make sure you go into render settings, you click on save, you have it You have it located somewhere you can find it. You gotta make sure it's in a PNG format. Then everything else I, I don't really touch. Make sure alpha channel's turned on, 8-bit dithering, I guess. You know, I, I really don't touch any of this. So um, yeah, that, this, th those are the only things I really touch. And I will see you guys when the render to picture view is done. All right, so we are now in Photoshop after the render exported. And I know that was kind of a big jump, I'm sorry there, but uh, we're gonna be now in Photoshop. I'm not gonna go over any Photoshop details or anything like that. I believe I did go over that in another video. So I'm just gonna jump right into things and I'm not gonna like, you know, go over the basics of it. So you guys should know what to do. And if you don't, it's okay, you can go back to my, like I said, you can go to my other video that I made of making thumbnails. I believe it's in the card in the top right of the video and you can go click on it and you can go watch that, but we're gonna jump right in. So now that you have a render here, what you wanna do is you wanna go into blending options and you wanna give it a stroke. I would say anything over 15 is a little bit too much, but here, let me just make this into a stroke of eight. That looks perfectly fine for me. This could be anything else. You can also change the color of it if you want. I'm only making it black, so. You know, because when you make it white, that's what happens. So I'm going to make it black and that's what it's going to look like. Another thing you want to add is a gradient overlay. Now this, you're going to be like, wow, this looks really ugly. So you're going to want to change the blood mode from normal to overlay and then change the opacity to between 15 and 20%. I'm actually going to make it 18%. It's right in the middle. It doesn't give too much of a change, but it does make it, I think, in my opinion, a lot more nicer. So yeah. You don't have to put this in, you can actually just make the render a little bit more brighter, but I like putting in the gradient overlay because it looks good. Last thing I think you should add, and I think it's the most important, is a drop shadow. It kind of gives it a more realistic kind of look to it instead of just like looking like a sticker. You know what I mean? So if you want, you can copy down the settings right here. The distance is 20, the size is 21, there's no spread, opacity is 75, the blend mode is multiply right here. And yeah, so now when you put it into thumbnails, it's gonna look amazing instead of just looking bland and boring. I don't know guys, what would you prefer? Would you prefer uh, clicking on a video with this render on a thumbnail or with this? I don't know, what would you guys think? But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and you found it useful. If you did, make sure you drop a like. And of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more awesome content. I do post a lot of other videos on this channel that I feel like you should check out if you are new. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below in the comments. I will make sure to respond to as many as I can. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.